Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a really simple homogeneous equation, so that way you can understand how to solve them. Now let's first point out why this one is homogeneous. And if we take a look at the differential equation, we have this term, y divided by x. Informally, we can consider that to be a degree zero term. All right, we also have e to the same thing, y over x, e to another degree zero term. Here, it seems as if all terms in the differential equation are informally degree zero. Now, the other way to identify if an equation is homogeneous is that that right-hand side, that function of x and y, only depends on the ratio y over x. And we see that here, y over x and e to the y over x. So this is homogeneous. Now, we have our substitution here, y equals u times x, and the result for the derivative dy over dx, and we're gonna immediately plug those in to the differential equation. Now, if you're not sure where these come from, I have a video on that linked down below in the description, so definitely check that out first if you're not comfortable understanding where these come from. Now, let's just go ahead and take these and plug them in and solve this differential equation. All right, so first replace the derivative on the left side, dy over dx, with the equivalent version here in terms of du over dx. So we'll get x times du over dx plus u. And here, everywhere on the right side, we're gonna replace y with u times x. So in the numerator here, we'll get u times x over x and then plus e to the y, replacing y with u times x over x. All right, now it's important to keep in mind this substitution, it's gonna convert the homogeneous equation into a separable equation. So let's go a little bit further so we can see that happen. Now notice you can cancel out the x's here and in the exponential, our differential equation will become x times du over dx plus u. We're gonna keep the left side the same. And the right side will simplify to now u plus e to the u. Again, the x's cancel there. All right, and we can continue to simplify this. Notice the u's subtract out. And we're left with a really simple differential equation, x times du over dx equals e to the u. And from here, it separates very easily. I'm gonna divide the exponential term, multiply the dx over, and then divide by x. So we'll get one over e to the u du equals one over x dx. And this is now separated. And from here, we can go ahead and integrate both sides, but don't be afraid to rewrite your terms to make the integration a little bit easier. Here, we're gonna rewrite one over the exponential as that exponential, but now to a negative quantity. So let's rewrite that as e to the negative u du equals one over x dx. And from here, now we can go ahead and integrate both sides. The left side, we're gonna integrate with respect to u and the right side, we're gonna integrate with respect to x. And here, the two antiderivatives we're gonna calculate are really simple. e to the negative u, integrating with respect to u, that'll come out to negative e to the negative u. And then integrating the right side is also very simple. That antiderivative just comes out to natural log of x. And then we include our integration constant on the right side, at least that's what I do in my differential equations course. I always include it on the x side. All right, the only other thing we need to do to get our solution to the differential equation is just convert back u in terms of x and y. And don't forget your substitution here, y equals u times x, that's equivalent to u equals y divided by x. All right, so if we just go ahead and plug that in, replace all of your u's with y over x, we get negative 
e to the negative y over x, and then equals natural log of x plus c. And this is our solution in what's called implicit form. So this is an implicit solution. Since it's not solved explicitly for y in terms of x. All right, as it turns out, this one you can get an explicit solution solving y as a function of x with a little bit more work. But that's our implicit solution, and that's all we're looking for here. Just make sure you're aware of what your professor is looking for in your differential equations course. You might be asked to solve and find an explicit solution. In that case, go a little bit further and solve that for y. Hope you enjoyed this video, straight and to the point. If you're learning a lot, support the channel, like and subscribe.